This is our uh, basically our first test with the uh, poor man's lidar, as we're calling it. It's taken off of a. Uh, let me zoom in here. So it's spinning. It should be about 10 hertz, and we got it off of the Neato like V11 uh, robot vacuum, kind of like the Roomba. And uh, it's kind of cool. It's got a little like a laser pointer and a CMOS, you know, sensor to detect it and then it spins and so uh, we're using this program we got from one of the fellow uh, community members on trust and so you can see what it's actually uh, measuring which looks like it's working pretty good so that's the couch you can see it's actually you can see the uh, little indentions by the uh, couch cushions all the way around um, So that look works out. It looks like it's working pretty good. You can see I'm bouncing off the close wall right there. Should be our closest, probably there on the top of the screen. And the far away is probably going all the way over to the uh, fish tank over there. You can actually see the enough of that. So that's kind of cool. It looks like it appears to be working. Um, now we have to make it. So this is reading it in through the XB. Oh, sorry, not XB. The uh, FTDI USB to TTL 3.3 volts and so I will eventually have to get that onto the Arduino Duo board which you see right there which is surprise you know that's supplying the 5 volts to that really tiny uh, little mini uh, regulator there and so uh, now we just have to figure out how to read the the bytes at, you know, we got the Python program that already does it, so it should be pretty straightforward to, to get the data out. So anyways, that's where we're at.